Welcome to the Reading Rush Day 3! I set up a tent in my garden to read from and... <laughs> Oops. What up? I am calling this segment of the vlog, I have a problem. I'm just addicted to buying books. I have bought so many books recently and yes, today I bought more, but they were from charity shops. So, you know, you're giving used books a home, you're contributing to charity while you do it. This is what I'm telling myself. But really, I am judging myself that I just bought three new books. But here we go, charity shop haul. The first one is Educated by Tara Westover. And I've heard amazing things from this. Lots of people rating this five stars. So this is the true and sad story of Tara who grew up in quite an abusive family and they were very controlling um, about all aspects of her life and they were just, you know, living a set way. And I believe it follows her childhood and then as she manages to like escape from this family home basically and get an education for herself. So it sounds really moving. I hope I appreciate this as much as everybody else. I mean, this is someone's life, which is always interesting to read about and review. I'll give it a go anyway, sometime in the future. The next read I have right here is Outlander by Diana Gavaldon. Wow, this used to be like the bee's knees I feel on booktube years ago and I never got to it. All I know is it's I think somewhat historical fiction or at least time travel to like ye old Scotland. Oh my gosh this is 800 pages. Oof I didn't know that but I also think this is a romance too which you know I'm scared of that but you gotta try these things you gotta give them a go. Hopefully I get to this some point let me know if you like it. And then lastly, switched up with a psychological thriller and here we have The Silent Patient. This follows a wife who viciously stabs her husband and then goes completely silent. No one knows why she killed her husband and why she's gone silent. So it sounds very creepy, very mysterious. I'm obviously really looking forward to like the psychological aspects of this. That's what we're here for. The, the mind games trying to understand what, what went through Alicia's head, what happened to her to make her do such a thing. It's pretty intriguing. So that's my little haul. Feel free to bully me if you see me buy any more books in the near future. A haul video is coming soon of all the ones I have bought, but yeah. I need to stop. Okay, time to now read. reading stump right there It's the end of day three and the reading rush has defeated me. Sometimes the world looks perfect. Nothing. I have like spent all day trying to edit and upload my days one and two vlog. You would not believe the technical issues I've had. Things I didn't even know could happen were happening. <laughs> Problems I've never had were happening had to bring in my brother who's like a tech whiz and it still took up like hours it's still not up yet and it's 11 p.m still not up the reading rush man and now my knee has gone weird i'm not blaming the reading rush for that but it's been a day you know it's been a day but on the plus i did manage to read and finish The Ocean at the End of the Lane, which I do love. I do really love this book, so that's nice. And it was really fun going into the trees, finding a reading stump 
to sit on, perch upon. That was really nice. And yeah, it was really cool reading the interview at the back of this. I didn't realise that this story was so personal to him. For example, there's a scene at the beginning of the book which seemed really out there to me, but this family gets a South African lodger staying with them and one day they realise that their car has been stolen and it turns out that the lodger stole their car, drove to the end of the road and killed himself. And this actually happened to Neil Gaiman. His family car got stolen when he was a little kid by this lodger. And the story was that he'd had all of his friend's money and all of his business money and he gambled it all away. And that's in the book. And I just thought I did not expect that to actually be real. But lots of this was drawn from his real life, which just adds such an interesting element to this. And he really put a lot of his childlike self into our seven year old protagonist, which again, just kind of makes me appreciate it more. But yeah, for today, that is all that I read. So to be on track, I should have finished another book by now. But like I said, it's been a difficult day. So I'm kind of ready to go to sleep and have a better day tomorrow. And I really hope I don't encounter more tech issues. I'm going to see if I can find anything else to edit my videos on. See if that helps. But yeah, for now, good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Welcome to day four of the reading rush. Oh my gosh, time flies. I've just had my breakfast and now I think I'm gonna binge watch as many reading rush vlogs as I can. It's not okay with their being more than seven minutes this week. <laughs> no, I'm in chapter two. If you have the place to go, my Lloyd Rowley Rose reading version works. Um, I have Lock and Day One Flaw, but I did my work from the audiobook, but I'm going back to chapter uh, after a while. Audiobook is like seven hours. Today's challenge, the day one reading of Chef's Kiss. Mm -hmm. I've never been to Tottenham. My mum just got given one at a shop once and she uh, refused to spend it. Um, so yeah. Okay, I am shook. As I said before, I'm reading Salt, which is written by a black woman and she writes a lot about race and living in America and kind of feeling separated from her heritage from Africa. She's written this, which is titled African American. When Africa says hello, my mouth is a heartbreak because I have nothing in my tongue to answer her. I do not know how to say hello to my mother. My mouth is a heartbreak. I really have no words, but I know that I can't relate to this situation. But I'm so impacted by how she writes. Like I said before, her poems are so short but they are loaded like a punch. They will spring out off the page and be like, this is what's hurting me. This is what's going on in my life. I just really wanna share this one as well. This one is called Bleach. You are sore from all of the white women in magazines, coaxing you out of your skin. Their fragrance is all over your friends at school. You can smell it. The heat of whiteness on their necks, maybe as your hands brush pain and relief into your face. Maybe now, you say, the world will leave me alone. It's just so haunting and harrowing that black women, black girls in Western society are often forced to feel like they should be white. They'd be more beautiful if they're white, which is obviously why representation and things like that is really important. That poem was titled Bleach which I found really interesting when I was thinking about this cover. For a book about race and being a black woman, this is the whitest cover I have ever seen.
Isn't that interesting? And just in this corner, the little black title. Salt. I can't remember where, but there's a line in here. Something like scrubbing the skin off yourself with salt. It's just hitting me and I don't really have any things smart to say about it, except I think this is so good. Some poems in here I don't appreciate. Like it will be one line, like open your eyes and you'll see more. <laughs> like something like that, that will be a poem and I'll just be like, oh. Obviously it's such a personal thing to read a poetry collection, but I guess my experience is there's so many amazing poems in there that I'm personally frustrated at the poems that I don't like, which are just like overly simplistic and like obvious because it's kind of, just for me personally, taking away from the quality of the rest of the collection. But that's just my thoughts. <laughs> Congrats, Tom! Yay. Yay. Yay! Yay, I finished my third book of the readathon, which was Holes. I read this all in one day. It's 233 pages. It's a five star read. It's the pretty much exact same story as the film which makes me love the film even more that like it just went with the book went with the source material trusted it for how good it was it's honestly one of the my just favorite stories ever the writing is simplistic and not necessarily anything like special in that regard but the story is just incredible so well thought out so many plot twists so exciting funny engaging I, I just love this so much. Such a quick read, such an engaging read. I totally recommend. It had all my favourite bits that the film had as well, where it like weaves the history of this town with in the current day. So there'll be like a chapter of the current day and then a chapter from the past and just slowly building this story, slowly giving you more information, which in the end, all of the information you've been given compiles together to pull off this story so yeah it's nearly 12 midnight so i'm going to go to bed now i have got technically three books left on my tbr for the next three days which i'm definitely gonna knock one off i'm just trying to focus on finishing two more in the next three days so that will be in my next vlog and ending this vlog here. So I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know how you're getting on. If you're even finding the time to watch this. You got this everyone. See you in my future vlog.